Hi, a quick demonstration of the HC06 Bluetooth module paired to an Android tablet and the G90. So first of all, this is a HC06 Bluetooth module. There are two versions of this. There's the HC05 and the 06. Uh, I won't go into the technical details of that in this video, but the HC06 basically functions as a Bluetooth to serial adapter. Uh, with this device, by default, the board rate, I think, is around 9600. So I've changed the board rate uh, to 19200, which is what the, the G90 uses over the CAT connection. I'm feeding this 5 volts from the Bench PSU. Uh, it's very low current. I think it's around 30 milliamps when receiving and transmitting. Uh, so basically here I've got the power going in to the two pins VCC and ground and I've got a header plugged into the board there which I've terminated into a 3.5 mil audio jack. In there is a stereo 3.5 mil cable which plugs into the cat port of the G90. So the software is connected to the Bluetooth module and the Bluetooth module is plugged into the G90. So essentially the G90 has Bluetooth connectivity with the tablet. Using this software, if I move the VFO, as you can see, the display is updating on the G90. Some of these functions do work and some of them don't. I'm using the test G90 configuration uh, on this piece of software, uh, but communication is, is definitely working between the two. I can enable bi-directional communication, but the update isn't that fast on the tablet. Now, that's probably something to do with the definition of this radio as it's as I mentioned it says test on there but it does work as you can see the Display is updating on the, the G90 and I'm able to tune this in using the, the tablet. This video is more of a quick demonstration to show that this does work with one of these modules. These, The data pins on these are 3.3 volts which is exactly the same as what the G90 uses. On other devices uh, they may not be 3.3 volt tolerant, usually TTR levels are around 5 volt. In those instances you'd use a, uh, a resistor voltage divider or um, some logic chips to, to change that voltage level. But fortunately, out of the box this is perfect for the, the G90. And in terms of powering this, it can work between 3.6 volts and 6 volts. So something like a small linear uh, voltage regulator such as the 78L05 uh, because this is such low current that would power that perfectly fine. Uh, a situation where you'd require a, a voltage converter would be if you're running this radio in the field and your only supply is uh, your battery or, or a, a power supply. Uh, and limited to in excess of 12 volts plus, which obviously this board won't cope with. Uh, so just using a couple of capacitors in the 78L05 or 7805, um, that would work correctly with this. Uh, the other thing, of course, you could connect it to a uh, power bank, uh, but a lot of power banks have a... a send circuitry on there and if not enough current is taken through the USB port uh, they will shut down not all of them do that 
but the majority do. Uh, there are ways around that with uh, you can buy devices that sit in line or, or you can put a load of some sorts on there to to circumvent that issue um, but as I said this is just a quick video to show that the G90 works with the HC06 Bluetooth module board and with Pocket TX RX and just to show something else the PTT does function correctly uh, so looks quite promising uh, looking forward to see what updates there are to this software and the radio definitions uh, thanks for watching